Hey everyone, welcome back to Roulette Fever. Those of you who have been following my videos for some time now, uh, they know that a few weeks ago, maybe maybe a month ago, I came up with a video where we are following, you know, a certain color sequence. And a few days ago, I came up with a video where we were following the ladder progression, you know, the progression which was safer than any other progression that I had shown in this channel before that. So I thought about combining those two strategies together and I have added some tweak into, the, into that progression to make that safest progression a bit more effective, you know. So yeah, let's begin and you will get to understand uh, which strategy I'm talking about but anyway I'm gonna put the link links of those two strategies in the description and on the cards okay so let's begin we are gonna bet with ten dollars unit size okay but you can start with one or fifty cents also so we are gonna follow a certain color sequence and our sequence starts with red so let's bet on red okay Okay, we start with a loss and we are not going to increase our bet size after a loss, okay? After any loss actually. But I have added something something into, that, into this progression so that it can be used a bit more effectively, you know? So yeah, red, black, we are not following any winners or anything like that. We are following a sequence, okay? Whether we win or lose, we are going to keep on following these sequences. So red, black. Next one is going to be on red again. Okay, we win, but that doesn't change our sequence or anything. And the next one is again going to be on red, not because we own, but it's that this is how this sequence works. Those of you who have seen that video, they know already what I'm talking about. So red, black, red, red. Sorry, I should have increased my bed size because that's what I thought. But anyway, I'm going to show you the progression anyway. Let's go. So red, black, red, red, black, black, okay? First of all, let me give you the demonstration about the sequence for the new viewers who haven't seen that old video of mine. Anyway, so red, black, red, red, black, black, okay? So the next one is going to be on black. But... Here is the tweak about it, okay? So, as I was talking about. So when we are just by minus 10 or minus 20, we can get back to the positives through this color, okay? So here I'm gonna bet on color, but with $20. But when this deficit increases, you know, to 60 and or $70, let me spend. So in the previous strategy with that safest progression, what we were doing, is that we are dividing our bets right into two sections but in this case we are going to take a different approach okay i'm going to give you a live demonstration of it so just hang on okay so now we we are in positive so we are again going to start our sequence not just because we are, we are back on positives but that's how this sequence works red black red red black black so we are back on red once again with ten dollars okay so hang on so that I can show you what to do when you we are in deep negatives, okay? It's not like that previous progression, okay? Like that ladder progression. It has something more into it. In that progression, we were following the winning color, okay? But in this case, it's different. We're following a sequence. So we are back on red. Remember the session high, right? Okay, again, we're going to bet on red. We're going to follow that sequence. Okay, we face another loss. We are not increasing our bet size after every loss. We're just keeping it onto our base bet. So that's why we don't need to be scared about reaching the table limit or losing out our entire bankroll, you know. Like we get scared of playing with Martin Hill. But anyway... Let's spin. 
you are following that same sequence red black red red black black we face another loss another black so yeah remember we are up by 30 i think so we will have to do certain adjustments okay so we have completed the sequence but we are not back to a new session high so this is where that tweak comes into play okay so now we are going to follow the last winning two dozens okay last two winning dozens and our bit size will depend on how much far we are from the previous all time session high okay so we want to reach back to 30 or 40 so in this case our bits gonna be of 30 dollars or 40 dollars okay but if you want to play it in a safer way you can divide also that bit like we used in the previous progression previous strategy you know in that strategy where we were dividing our bits with colors on, on, on two rounds okay through two rounds so in this case we can do that too but in this case i'm gonna go with 30 dollars on the previous two dozens okay last two dozens so in this case the second and the third dozens okay okay we face a loss this can happen remember that so in this case what we are going to do is that we are going to increase our bed size by two units okay and we are gonna rem sorry we are not going to remain on the same two dozens we are going to follow the last two winning dozens okay so let me clear this out we are again going to follow the last two winning dozens so in this case okay this one and this one okay and let's spin our target is to get back to the previous session high okay as quickly as possible okay we win now we need to check whether as you can see that we haven't gotten back to our new session high we're still behind by 50 or something but anyway our last bet was over 100 so 50 on the on two dozens so we are going to reduce our bet size by one unit okay and again we're going to follow the last two winning dozens so this time we're going to bet with 40 and let's spin so the difference here is that we are not betting on colors anymore we are betting on dozens to get back to a new session high okay back on 20 so in this case we can go back to the color and start our sequence once again okay with ten dollars with our best bet okay it's a zero Again, we're going to follow the sequence. It doesn't matter whether zero or double zero comes. Okay. You know, there are certain casinos, online casinos, which track your bets and all of those stuff. So by, you know, shuffling your bets through colors and dozens, they can't easily track your movement, you know. And then obviously you can add several other strategies into a session, but that's not an issue. But here, there is this variation that, that works really fine you know, with this strategy. Okay, we win, but we haven't gotten to a new session high. So in this case, we're not gonna take dozen. We're not gonna go to dozens because we are just 20 behind, I think. So in this case, we are gonna increase our bed size to 20 by one unit and we are gonna remain on the red color because that's the sequence we are following okay red black red red black black whenever our you know session loss or anything like that you know we are you know by 50 or 60 points away from our all-time session high then that's when you need to take the dozen you know that's when you need to go into the path of dozens not before that remain on the colors until then when it's going actually out of your hand, you feel that way ladder progression may not give you that much effectiveness or anything like that. It will take you more time to get back to your previous session high. That's when you take the dozens, okay? Well, the last base was 20 and we are following that uh, sequence. So now it's gonna be on black and we're gonna bet with 20 again. So let's spend. If we lose this one, we're going to go to dozens, okay? 
okay we lose this one so we are gonna go to dozens this time so in this case let's see last two numbers were uh, the second and if you see the first dozen okay so we're gonna bet on that one and we are down by 30 and the previous session i was 30 so we're down by 60 in this case but we are going to divide our bits into two steps okay so we're going to bet with 30 on the first dozen and on the second dozen okay i hope you understand what i'm trying to do here so after we win and get back onto a new session high then we are going to start our sequence from the beginning okay okay we win so now we are still down by 30 because we divided our bets into two rounds so again we are going to follow this time the second and the first dozen because that's how we are doing it following the last two winning dozens okay let's see if we lose we are going to increase it by two units okay that's all that's what i showed you in the previous rounds okay we're back onto a new session high i think 30 or anything at par with the previous session high and now again we are going to start the color sequence from the red okay so 10 dollars on red let's start my main point was to give you the clarifications about this strategy, you know, about this progression because there, it is a bit critical one to be frank with, okay. So, I hope you can understand it now. So, let's see. If we can get to 50, I will close this video because I wanted to give you the demonstration, that's all. And I hope you have understood it properly by now. Okay, we are not going to increase our bed size. Red, black, red, red, black, black. That's what we are following here, okay? Again, we are going to be it on red. And let's see. We are not going to take any progression or dozens or anything as long as we can, you know? In this case, as you can see, I don't need to take any progression at the moment. So I'm not taking any progression, okay? I'm minimizing my risk. Be sensible, okay? Don't be too much greedy, that's all. Okay, we're close to 50. So if I win this one, I will close this video because sequence is gonna end also. Red, black, red, red, black, black. But we haven't won. But anyway, let's again follow the red. You see, I didn't need to increase my bed size also. I can keep on playing with my base bed as long as I want to, because after a certain time, when I feel that well, I'm further away from my previous session, I then I can take the path of dozens. As I showed you already. Anyway, again, this time we are going to be black, back on black. It's $10. If I lose this one, then maybe I'm going to take the path of dozen. Yeah, because I'm getting further away from my target. So this time I'm going to take my take dozen. Okay, it will depend on you when you want to take the dozen. So this time my two bets are going to be on the first and on the second dozen because we can overlook the zeros. Okay. And my bets are going to be uh, $20. Nothing more than that. Okay. Manage your risk properly. Be sensible. Calculate it according to your comfort zone and bet. Okay. Don't follow any rigid system. I'm just showing you how you can use or integrate dozen into this system. That's all. The rest depends on you. How you are going to use it. Okay. Again, we are going to bet with 20 on the first and on the second dozen. And if we win this one, we're going to reach 50. And I'm going to conclude this video and let's see what happens. We haven't. <laughs> We're going to increase our bed size by two units on the previous two dozens. I mean the last two unique dozens. In this case, this is going to be the second and the third dozen. I think, yes, we're going to bet with 40 because we're increasing it by two units after a loss on the dozens. Okay. Okay, we face another loss. Now, this is the tricky situation that I was talking about. But anyway, don't worry. Okay. We're going to play with 60 this time. And if you feel more comfortable by increasing it one unit at a time, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. It's your money. How you're going to place your bet. It depends on you. I'm just showing you a strategy. Okay. We win. We're not going to decrease our bet size by one unit. Okay. We're going to bet with 50. On the last two winning dozens. And let's spin. I agree that you need to have a little bit more back uh, bankroll than the 
then usually you know or i should say the strategy that we are using where we are only using the ladder progression in that case maybe you could uh, go ahead with minimum of your bankroll but in this case maybe a little bit more bankroll would be uh, sufficient or maybe uh, maybe a little bit, little bit more bankroll would give you that breathing room you know it will be better to go ahead with a little bit more bankroll than usual previous strategies but anyway so in this case we're back to 20 so yeah the next bet is gonna be of 30 would be enough in this case and we're gonna follow the last two winning dozens and let's spin We lose, I think. I think so, yeah. Anyway, we are gonna increase our bet size by two units. That's what we have been doing. And we're gonna follow the last two winning dozens. That's why I'm saying that a little bit more bankroll would be nice to have in this strategy. Because we are trying to be a bit more effective or assertive, whatever you wanna call it. And we are trying to get back to a new session a bit more quickly than that ladder progression, you know. So that's all we're going to reduce by one unit we are not going back to the colors until we get back to a new session high okay that's the point of this strategy i think we do yes and we have reached our target okay guys this was the strategy again i'm going to summarize it for you we're going to follow a certain color sequence red black red red black black okay and we are not going to increase our bet size after a loss while we are playing with the colors. But the moment you know you are uh, at least 30 to 40 points behind your previous session high or into negatives, then you start playing with the dozens, okay? But then also you can divide your bets into two rounds. If you are down by 40, let's say, you can go with 20, 20, 20 on both dozens. And we are following the last two winning dozens. And on the next round, you can again go with 20. If you lose your bets while playing with dozens you will have to increase your bet size by two units and decrease by one unit when we when you lose okay when you win sorry when you win you're gonna decrease your bet size by one unit and when you lose while playing with dozen you're gonna increase your bet size by two units okay but always decide your bet size on the basis of how far you are from your previous session high okay how much you need to bet with decide on the basis of that okay don't be rigid with the system i hope you have understood th understood this video and let me know if you find anything confusing in it okay i'm going to try to clarify it more on the comment section and let me know how it works for you keep, keep on supporting guys and i'm going to see you on the next video